Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we will simulate a D-latch using NI Multisim tool. Before working on this tutorial, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. So what are latches? Latches which store information and each bit of information is presented on the signal line. So this kind of a scenario uh, we use D latch so you can see the D latch circuit using the NAND gates from the logical diagram of the D latch it is recognizable as that of an SR latch with an enable with a inverter added to generate the SR inputs from single D input. This eliminates the situation of S and R asserted simultaneously. So let us design and simulate the D latch using multisim tool. So now click on file and we have to select the PLD design and click on create. Now select create empty PLD click on next and define the PLD design as gated D latch click on place logic gate and select a two input NAND gate now in this design we have to place four different two input NAND gates on the schematic window so place four two input NAND gates next we have to place a NOT gate or an inverter so select inverter and place this inverter on the schematic window now connect the output of NAND gate 3 to the input of NAND gate 4 and the output of NAND gate 4 to the input of NAND gate 3 now connect the NAND gate now connect the output of NAND gate 1 to input of NAND gate 3 and the output of NAND gate 2 must be connected to the input of NAND gate 4 we must place an input connector which will be D input and place this on the schematic and also an enable input must be placed in the schematic. Double click on IO01 and name this as D and click OK and double click on IO2 and name this as enable and click OK. Now we must connect the input of NAND gate 1 to input of NAND gate 2 and later on connect the enable pin to the inputs. Next connect the D input to NAND gate 1 and the inverter to the D input and the output of inverter to NAND gate 2. Next click on the output connector and place the output connector on the NAND gate 3 and at the output of NAND gate 4. Rename this output connector as Q 
and the another output connector as QN and save this file. Now click on file and select the new PLD design and click on create. Name this as gated dlatch symbol and click on finish. Now click on hierarchical block and from the file select the gated dlatch and place this on the schematic window. Now in order to realize the logic table of dlatch we have to place a digital source and select the interactive digital constant and place two interactive digital constant one for the t input and another one for the enable. Next, click on probe to realize the output of dlatch and select the probe and place two probe on the schematic window. Now, connect the interactive digital constant D and the enable input to the gated dlatch and the output Q and Qn to the probes. Now let us run the simulation. Now you can see from the table that when the latch is enabled that is c equal to 1 the output of a latch follows the value of t input terminal. So if t is 0 the latch switches or remains in 0 state when the t is 1 then the latch switches or remains in one state. When we disable that is when clock or enable pin is zero the latch remains in its last value. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose request you to like share and subscribe my channel below